So you should be having sex with other people that aren't great at it because I'm gonna ruin your sexual future. You're gonna, you're gonna lose your shit and then you're gonna freak out for the rest of your life because you lost your shit. Now if I sent you a picture of my nuts, right? What, what would you say? You on? Uh... I probably wouldn't say anything, but I will tell you something. There's a very good friend of mine that I met through uh, a mutual friend, and the first text he sent me was a dick pic, okay? First text? First text. And wow. so I Perfect. schooled him so, so, so hard. And when I later ran into him at an event, it was our first time we saw each other again, he came up to me and goes, you know what? You're right. Because what I schooled him about was I said, how old is your mother? And she was a year younger than me. I said, how would you like it if random dudes were sending your mother dick pics? How would that make you feel? I go, you need to look at me like that. I'm the woman that you have to show a little respect to. Get to know me first. You know? So when we saw each other at this event, he came up to me. He's like, you know what? You were right. It's not the best foot forward. He goes, I don't send dick pics anymore. And so after that, we became really good friends because I was the first girl to either not block his phone number and just mm -hmm. tell him, like, that was intrusive. I remember it was like eight o'clock in the morning. I was at the airport coming home from a feature booking. The first text I see is this dick pic. And I'm like, dick almost hit my you now. God, <laughs> I mean, like that was unwarranted. Like, right. come on, give me a heads up. Like, yeah. a, hey, hello, what's up? Dick pic. But no, it was just dick pic. And no hi. No hi. And it was my first text I ever got from him. Hi, I'm Lisa Ann, and you are watching This Is 50.com. Ow! Well, let me ask you this. Were you impressed with his dick, though? I was, you know, and I've not been with him yet, but we have stayed in touch. And the other day I was talking to him on the phone and weirdly, you I flashed back, I didn't bring it up verbally, but for some oh, reason I flashed back to this dick pic. Right. I could picture the shower, the black tile floor, and I'm like, this shit does get embedded in your brain. Like I remember his penis, like mm -hmm. even though I've never seen it live. Right. So yeah, and, and, and now it has me curious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, look at that. Full <laughs> circle, like, what the dick Full circle. Hey, let her know about my dick. I had sent Lainey a dick pic. <laughs> what? He sent you a dick pic? <laughs> so I could see his ashy balls. Oh my God, that's fucking fantastic. So I could see his balls. Hey, but the tip wasn't in there. So what, you saw how much shaft was in there though? I did, it was respectable. It was respectable. It was respectable. O-M-G. Yeah, it was a lot of shaft. I did. It oh was my. a lot of shaft. Was it unwarranted? Like, did it just no, come out of nowhere? Was no, there a conversation? No, we talking about his balls. Okay, okay. So you, yeah. you, you didn't expect no. it, but it didn't blow you away. No, I didn't expect it because we're talking about his balls. <laughs> Layton said he had ashy balls. So I wanted to see Layton is that that's great. Cosine. She was stalking me. Cosine. Yeah. Ashy balls. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why are your balls so ashy? I, I, I didn't. I forgot to. And then on top of that, I don't know if I got a big dick or not. So I don't want to send the, the pic. And then Do you, you know what? Reply. If I was a dude and yeah. I was going to send dick pics, mm -hmm. I would be on the internet and looking up some shit like Mandingo, right? Some beautifully shot, beautiful penis. And I would pretend it's mine. But the dick pics I get, I'm like, you shouldn't even be photographing that thing. No, there is no. nothing to be proud right, of there. Right. Why are you taking pictures? And also, I criticize everything about it. So if there's in the mirror and the mirror's dirty, or if mm. I can see dirty stuff in the room, mm. or I'll just write back on Twitter, you need to clean your room before your next dick pic. Come on, man. It's clothes on the bed and all kind of shit. Don't stand over the toilet and take it either. Exactly. That's not I'm talking, about girl, I'm talking about the guy, the, the girl version. Oh, I watch the, the girls do I'm that the too. The girl version of what, I'm not saying that I'm looking at dick pics with guys sending me dick pics. I know what you said. And it's a dirty room. I, I need to tell them that though, just Clarify. Cause they, yeah. You know what? The Snapchat is the best for chicks that are trying to be Instagram models, but haven't reached their 80,800 followers or whatever they think they need. And they all do like these things that are all about themselves and they don't realize like, their room is a disaster. Yeah. No guy is gonna think you're hot when they see the laundry basket. There's like 10 pets in the room. And There's it's, like- it's a, it's a mattress on the floor. Always a mattress on, it's maybe a, even a futon mattress a on futon. the floor. It's a regular, Not even a frame. Yeah, this shit looks crazy, man. Right, at least go to a hotel if you're gonna do that yeah. stuff. You know what I mean? Make it look furnished, do something, but Snapchat don't lie. Mm, some girl sent me some popcorn today. Popcorn. I opened it, opened it, a package. It was a, um, a fan um, from um, Chicago. Real popcorn that you could eat? Or Real pop popcorn that you could eat. And it was, it was a big Oh, they have that good popcorn there. Yeah. That's why. Uh, I get I it at the airport. This, yeah. Okay, there's a stand at the airport popcorn. at Chicago O'Hare that has like the best popcorn and okay. it's a big thing from there. So she sent that specific to her area to share something about where she's from with you. She likes you and she loves being your fan. 
We have great fans, don't we? Met really good fans. Yeah. She sent me a picture too. It was, it was really big. Of her? Yeah, and they said you inspire me so much. Oh. Yeah, you want to see it? Yeah. Hey, Jeremy, go get it, man. That's this, wonderful. This is nuts. Would this, you send her back? I what's well, today? I just got it today. Okay. Just before you got it. We have to send her something back. Man, you got you got to give me some suggestions. Of what well, you I know, even if it's. I'll tell you what would hit home the most. What, what? A handwritten thank you note. A handwritten thank you note. It's simple. She gets it in the mail. She sees it. She saves it forever. But it's just your thought, you, you know? Or a t-shirt from here would be great. She'd mm. love, that's the, oh wow, this is a decent, oh wow, she's, hello. I'm inspired oh. by you. Beautiful, did I get the glare off of it? She's beautiful. Yeah. Wow. You would not be getting her Tupperware, I'm telling you that not right now. <laughs> We get her a nice chest of drawers. Look at, look, look at this, man. Oh, that was super sweet. People are wonderful. And you know, when, when someone sends me something, I now think about it. I'm like, wow, you went out of your way to put this in the mail and get it to me, put a smile on your face. Yeah. So well, something I started doing is I collected t-shirts everywhere I was from really? fans. Fans would always send me t-shirts of like their local team or where they worked or at strip clubs or whatever. And now that I've had the time to kind of like go through my house, I've stopped traveling and I have all this time, I must have found about 200 t-shirts that people have given me over the years. Because I would just, I have a big place, I would just throw my stuff in my closet and never need the space and whatever. So I put the time into remembering who gave me these t-shirts and took out a little, a little safety pin, a little post-it and did the research and found their Twitter handle. I mean, this was years of collecting these shirts and I was able to remember almost all of them. Mm. Marijuana does not make you lose your memory, people. That is wow. not true. That's bullshit. So now, once a day, I do a little YouTube thing and I do a t-shirt of the day and I give a shout out to the person that gave it to me, where I was when they gave it to me, how long I've had it, and they get a little bit of props on my YouTube page. Wow. How cute, right? Man, that is amazing. Yeah, it's been fun. You're you gonna make me send you a t-shirt now. Oh, I'll totally do it for you. I'll bump you right up to the front of the line, Are too. you serious? Yeah! Man, yeah. Oh I'm mad I didn't bring you something today. You know the nice radio stations where they're, they're cool and you like going to talk to yes, them, they're good people? Yes, I mean. Those t-shirts I saved and I've been wearing those and hitting them back up because I'm not going to see them anymore. I'm not feature dancing, but I still want them to know like I appreciated the good time they gave me and the mm -hmm. good interviews and, and, and I just want to say thank you. Wow. So, man, you've been gone from the game for a minute. You don't even ever like sometimes get an itch to go back on the road? Not once at all. And not even a little bit? Not even a little Life bit. Life is good. I'll tell you, I mentally prepared myself. So I planned my retirement for about a two-year span. And during that two-year span, when you know you're going to be finished, it's kind of like when you know you're breaking up with someone, every fucking thing they do irritates you more than the reality that you're breaking up with them. And it just stacks. Oh. And it stacks. And the next thing you know, by the time it's over, you have built this like, you've said your goodbyes because you, you fucked them a couple extra kind of times like this is going to be the last time. Mm -hmm. There were sometimes, every club I went to, I would be on the stage for my last show and I would get like kind of emotional for a minute like I've been coming here for 10 years or 15 years and little do they know this is my last time, peace out bitches. I, I, I enjoyed it while I did it but the breakup was ready. I was really, really ready. I really appreciate you coming over to This Is 50 and hollering at us. It's so good to see you. Man, it's so good to see you. Um, is there anything you want to tell This Is 50 before we get up out here? You know, I just want to say to everybody around here and all the people watching and listening and the wonderful people that send gifts that, you know, your love and your admiration to follow, you know, This Is 50 and to follow us and to share your love is, is so important. We love it. Share love with the people that you know too. Don't forget to tell the people closest to you that they mean something to you. I think we take the people in our lives for granted that are the closest to us, the people we see every day. And just make sure that you're out there telling everybody that's in your life that you care about how much they mean to you. With that being said, like I always say, you just can't say you're real. It's something you gotta be. Lisa and we open, we out of here. Do have something in mind, y'all go to commercial. Don't kiss them hoes in the mouth unless you got to. And you know, another thing I started doing since I retired is I started going back to church. And it's something I would have done before, but I just didn't have the schedule. <laughs> oh, anyway. Just because I like to have sex does not no, mean no, 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 that I, I just, cannot. I wasn't ready. I just wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I ain't gonna let the people frisk me if I'm dirty, homie.